Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to take a look at concave and convex polygons. Wow, you may wonder, concave and convex polygons? That seems kind of weird, but yes, there are such things and let's find out what they actually are. Let's start with convex. The definition is that a convex polygon is a polygon such that when we extend any of the line segments, which means any one of the sides, it will not cut through any of the other sides. So here we have an example. We take any of the four sides and we extend those sides out. So in this case, this side would extend out this way, this one, and you can see that this side will not cut through another side when we extend it. Same with the side on the bottom here. We extend it out, it will not cut through another side. Here, if we extend this side out, notice it will not cut through any other side. And if we extend this side out, again, it will not cut through any other side. So therefore, this is considered a convex polygon. And if I can get the cap off my black pen, I can write that down. Convex polygon. Now, a concave polygon is defined as such. A concave polygon is a polygon when we extend the line segments, or the sides as we would call them, at least one of them cuts through one of the other sides. So if one of them cuts through another side when we extend it, it is not a convex polygon, it is considered a concave polygon. I'm going to redo this side here because I want this to be a straight line. It doesn't quite look like a straight line, so there we go. So now it looks a little bit more like a polygon. And let's extend that side and notice what happens. I extend it and here it is. It cuts through another side. That alone is enough to say this is now a concave polygon. But it's not the only side. It only needs one side to be considered a concave polygon. But take a look at this side. If we extend it here, nothing happens on that side. But here you can see that it will also cut through another side. That's the second reason, you'd only need one, and so you can definitely call this a concave polygon. <laughs> All right, here, um, going back quite a ways to our, uh, to our uh, geometry teachers, we were told, or at least my wonderful wife was told by her geometry teacher that a concave polygon has like a little cave, like a little indentation, well, it kind of looks like a little pocket that collects water. So anytime something cuts in, forms like a little cave, we can call it a concave polygon. Hmm, that kind of rhymes, doesn't it? That's how it's done.